Hello everyone! So today I'm going to be going over a tutorial on how you can create your own custom mod pack in CurseForge. So to actually begin the process is you're going to first want to select my mod packs. Um, if you're browsing mod packs, you're, you can create the option here, but I typically click my mod packs to view all of them, and then I click create custom profile on the top right. After that, you're going to get a little menu. You're going to have to type in a profile name, so I'm just going to type in Bay. You can also actually change your image if you just click this little pencil or pen icon and you can change the image. I, if I'm not mistaken, the image is a 400 by 400 pixel. Uh, so any image with that, you could just drag and drop and upload it and it will change it. So instead of having this default background like this one, it's going to have a custom background like this one. And then after that, you can select your Minecraft version. So it has the most recent Minecraft version or it has the, like, the oldest version, 1.1. Or one of the oldest versions. So uh, for this video, I'm actually going to choose, I don't know, I'll choose 1.18. And then after that, I'm going to have to select the game type. So if I want to play on Forge, uh, Forge and Fabric, they're going to have certain mods that are compatible with them. And some mod creators prefer Forge, some mod creators prefer Fabric. So it kind of varies. So you're going to have to do a little bit of research to figure out if your the mods are available for the game type that you want to choose. And of course, then you have vanilla if you want to play vanilla. So for this video, I'm just going to stick with Forge. Um, so for mod loader version, I actually stick with the one that they recommend, which is usually the most updated one. Uh, sometimes when you add some mods in your mod pack and when you launch Minecraft, it's going to give you a mod loader version error on launch. And it's going to be like mod X is requiring mod loader version 38.0.16 so then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to select this to ha be compatible to work with that mod but most of the mods will work with the most recent version but if you do run into that problem that's how you fix that and then after that you just click create and then what it's going to do it's going to load your little curseforge profile on the left side and to actually begin the process of making your mod pack is you want you want you want to do is go to add more content so when you go to add more content, you're going to have a list of mods, you're going to have a list of resource packs, you're going to have a list of maps. Uh, so typically what I recommend is choosing all the mods that you want to have in your mod pack, any resource packs and maps. If you want to add any third party mods, you're going to have to do click the little three dot, the three dots next to play and then click open folder and in open folder, you're going to see a mod or a resource pack or ma maps a folder and you're going to drag and drop the the mods or resource packs or maps into those proper folders for you to see them. Of course, if you try uploading that to CurseForge, they're going to automatically deny you because it is a third party. So if you don't want to be denied by for CurseForge, I, rec I recommend just typically sticking with all the mods in the CurseForge launcher and resource packs in that launcher that they're recommending here. So you can actually search all the mods. Um, sometimes they don't actually show you all of them. Uh, you could scroll down forever, and sometimes what happens is uh, the curse, the launcher. I don't know if it's a launcher. I don't know if it's me. Uh, sometimes the I can't scroll down anymore. I don't know if there's a cap or something like that. But if there is, that could be the reason why, or maybe it's just my old computer. But I don't know. So I'm just gonna select a few mods real quick. Uh, maybe three or four of them, and. That's perfect with me. I'm gonna select a quick resource pack. This one looks, I like the profile picture, so I'm gonna select it. And then for maps, let's go with a city one. That seems pretty cool. Um, so when you're downloading stuff, you actually see this bar, so it's showing you that you're downloading something. You don't worry about it not downloading. You don't actually have to sit here and wait until it downloads. You can select multiple items. So I typically, when I'm going through and making a mod pack and I have like maybe a hundred mods planned for a mod pack, I will actually go through and select all of the mods and they will all download automatically. And I, I don't wait for each one to finish. Some are bigger, some are smaller. Some are gonna go quickly and be finished in the snap or a blink of your eye. And others are gonna take a few seconds like that, depending on your internet speed, of course. And then after that, you click the X icon on the top right. And there you go, you have yourself a mod pack. You just click play and you launch up Minecraft and you're good to go. So one thing to note is you're going to see one option. Uh, I forget which mod it was, I think it was this one. So when you see this option under action, it says update. 
So it's a downward facing arrow to a line. That means you're, the mod has an update for this version. So all you have to do is if you just click it, it's going to click say installing and it's gonna automatically install for you and you don't have to worry about anything else. So that is actually the end of this video, but I, I hope all of you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope I explained how to do this correctly and you got a better understanding. If not, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to respond and help you out. But thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see all of you in the next video. Remember to have a great day and I will see all of you later.